Good evening, uh, dignitaries on the dais, important guests, and my dear Rotarians. I'm honored, privileged, and having a lot of pleasure, friends, uh, to be a part of this forum. Uh, of course, uh, this is my second visit in your forum today. And the first was, of course, very mesmerizing, where my dear friend Mayan became the president of this uh, very elated, very elegant, and very strong chapter of Mumbai. Congratulations, Mayan. Now, when Mayan told me that today's topic and the theme of the year for the Silver Jubilee function is Be the Change, I said, excellent, I guess you all are already on the path of making a change by your own contribution to this society. Then why do you need a talk on that? Or why do you probably need some kind of time from me to kind of reinforce the same? But having said that, I said, I would love to be a part of this forum because this is certainly a powerful forum which mind is going to be the uh, entire one year. And of course, make a lot of contribution to the society and each and every life, I'm sure. Be a change. I'm sure all of us understand what is change all about. Friends, the dictionary defines change as making a difference, a distinct difference, a transformation. Well, transformation we are going to make, and not just for the year, which has to come, but obviously for the entire humanity, entire years, decades and centuries to come. As Mahatma Gandhi had rightly said, be the change you want to see in the world. And I'm sure this be the change theme has been inspired from Mohandas Karamchand Gandhi itself. Now what did he mean when he said that? He simply said, that whatever you want to see as a change in the society, whatever you want to see as change in the humanity, you first have to display that characteristics in the society itself. If you want to see anger going out of your family, first and foremost, you need to remove the bitter tongue of yours. You need to have that <coughs> smile on your face. Only then can you expect that anger will be slowly and steadily diminishing from your family. If you want to see people happy around you, well, you cannot be anything else but smiling most of the time. And of course, producing more vibes of happiness around you. Only then can you expect happiness around you and your family. Friends, this leads to say that a person only can reap the harvest what he actually goes and sows. If you are sowing a seed of happiness, what else can you expect but happiness? If you are sowing the seed of bitterness, you cannot expect anything but bitterness. <laughs> Having said that, being the change or producing the change for the humanity is certainly not a slow task. It is a very hard work which really involves each and every person to contribute their bit. And how can you do that? Mahatma Gandhi did it with three strong principles, friends. When he said that, he walked the talk. What did he actually do? He believed in three fundamental principles. Number one, the ballot. By ballot, he meant that there has to be a democratic election process through which you elect a person and not just nominate a person based on biases or prejudices. The second principle he strongly believed was the fact he said jail, but by jail it meant that yes, civil obedience, no, non obedience movement, and certainly the, the second factor is the hard work which really took them to the jail that time and really produced the result what they wanted. And the third and most important principle, my friend, is the spinning wheel by which he spun his own clothes and he really displayed that characteristic of being <coughs> against the salt march, against any of the British clothes which were manufactured. 1930, my friends, is a history. Why is it so? Because Mahatma Gandhi started the salt march and that time the salt tax which was implied by the Britishers, he was completely against that. From 79 people, 
उन्यासी लोगों से उन्होंने एक भीड़ जो जमा की थी दैट लेड टू मोर देन थाउजेंड पीपल एट दैट टाइम इवन दो ही वॉज अरेस्टेड बट ही सॉट वेट दैट हिज मूवमेंट वॉज सर्टली ग्रोन टू द टाइम दैट ब्रिटिशर्स वर रियली फोर्स to take cognizance of this frail man but nevertheless they have to remove the tax at the end of it friends when we talk about the change we want to lead who else can we give but a powerful example the person who is almost on the death bed today i am talking about nelson mandela my friends born in 1918 nelson henry mandela in south africa a person who started his career as a lawyer a person who really fought against the whites in south africa a person my friends was arrest, arrested several times and in 1960 the soroski movement over there led to his imprisonment for life in spite of having a life imprisonment and the government गवर्नमेंट ने उन्हें यह भी कहा कि आपकी अच्छाई देख के हम आपको जल्दी रिलीज कर देते हैं वी आर रेडी टू रिलीज यू मच अर्लियर इन बिकॉज वी हैव सीन द काइंड ऑफ डेडिकेशन द काइंड ऑफ गुड बिहेवियर यू हैव लिटरली शोन इनसाइड द जेल बट यू नो व्हाट हैपन देन फ्रेंड्स ही डिनाइड दैट ही स्टेड ऑन द प्रेजन टू कंप्लीट हिज लाइफ इन प्रेजन 1990 मार्च ही वाज आउट एंड फ्रेंड्स 1994 he became the president of south africa for 5 years that was a history when world stood up and watched that person that person who was not strong physically but certainly a strong change agent my friends the person who could literally get the country behind him and who could literally make that difference in the south african government a person who was followed blindly and even today when he is on death bed they cannot reveal his death right strongly because of the fact that it will not be digested so very easily by the country friends that is the change what we talk about that is the change each individual must strive to be in a society because if you have to see change you yourself have to change yourself and how else can you change there are many factors we could keep discussing lot of things that we can work on ourselves to really display that change i'm sure being a rotarian you're already a growth oriented people i don't literally have to tell you what is growth all about but having said that my friends just to kind of be in sync when we talk about being a change agent why not imbibe in ourselves the inclusive growth by inclusive growth what we mean is being successful number one in our own profession because if you are not successful in your profession and you keep talking about change talking about success probably people will not give a heed they will take you very lightly so you first and foremost you need to be successful in whatever you are doing give your best in that particular area where you are working on second successful in your family family is the most important pillar my friends for you to have your emotional stability if you are not successful in your family life rest assured you will not be successful anywhere forget about being a change agent that's a very distant dream so very important to spend a good amount of time with your family so that you really get all the support and they really push you to become a change agent in the society because without their support i'm sure our president would also agree that he would have had all the support from his family members to now lead the change agent team for the next year am i right ma'am yeah. another important dimension of being successful is successful in the society first being successful in your profession successful in your family and finally successful in your society now obviously you all are successful in the society i don't have to tell you that because a kind of report which i saw the other day 
the kind of blind uh, eye donation camp which you have conducted in the last one year and of course a lot of other uh, social projects which you are into and will be into in the successive years to come. I am sure that area you are already growing, grown and going to touch the epitome in few years to come. I am sure Borivali, Rotary Borivali is doing a great job in that. Friends, why not look at some of the very important aspects which we need to introspect to become a strong agent. And this one year, I'm sure, if, if certain things, there are just four qualities which we kind of imbibe into. And what could that be? Number one is how can I really make a change to myself and the society? That's a question one must silently contemplate. Right? This is a very individual exercise. If one can do, each Rotarian can just contemplate on that. How can I make a change in myself and the society? If you can answer that question individually, I think most of the thing is done there. And how can you answer that? By asking a simple question. I can deal with social projects. Say for, for example, can I really make a difference in this particular slum area, for example, this particular slum area which I am working on, can I really make a difference in people around in my society? Can I really make a difference in my neighbor's life? Can I really make a difference in my own family? If these are questions you start answering, what you are doing is, you are trying to commit your own self in the success of one's own family, that is your own family. Secondly, you go ahead and ask, now how can I make a difference? First of all, you answer the question, can I make a difference? You will get an answer, yes or no. Secondly, how can I make a difference? Now, how is a strategy which you need to formulate? And of course, again, you are masters in that. I am no one to guide you because I am a novice when it comes to you doing social projects. Probably I need to learn from you how to do that, right? Probably in, in the new, near future, if I am associated with you, I am sure. I'll be learning that. <laughs> right? You all, I don't have to really lead you in that. You all already changed agent in that area. Another factor is very important again. The third quality. Just do it. Friends, Nike slogan. Okay. Once you have answered, can I do it? How am I going to do it? Just do it. That's the third step. Then don't procrastinate and wait for something else to happen, or something miracle in terms of destroying from the skies and you kind of uh, waiting and watching and being on the fence and sitting and procrastinating. So just do it is the third step. How do you do that? Again, you have strategized, implementation is required, you have a team, nothing stops you. Fourth, and again very important factor friends, that take care of yourself very well. Very, very important. In the struggle, if I may call, use that word, of answering the question, can I do it, how am I doing it, and just doing it, am I forgetting my own self? Am I taking good care of myself? <coughs> In that area also, I am sure all of us are intelligent enough to understand what do we need to do to take care of good health, right friends? I'm sure this is not a forum where we probably we can have certain forums where we can discuss, we can get experts on health and uh, you know dieting to kind of give us lecture. But I'm sure we all are intelligent enough to understand how do we take good care of ourselves, right? So that's again very important. If these four qualities can be answered, can be introspected and then imbibed within ourselves, I'm sure we are on the journey of becoming a change leader, a change agent. As is rightly said, friends, that there are two very important factors. Now, what is those factors you consider makes you the person you are? Number one is whether you are a result-oriented person or you are a reasoning-oriented person. A result-oriented person will always strive to look at what the results are achieved at the end of the day. Are you really producing results? 
that emotional satisfaction friends which comes in once you produce a result is itself giving you a compliment to yourself rather than if you are looking at reasoning out for certain not having not doing and things like that if you are trying to reason things out as if you are looking at oh why this couldn't happen why didn't i do this am i really supposed to be going there on time or it's all or is it okay if i'm few minutes late you know these reasoning starts coming in your mind that's the time you really start getting at times skeptical you start becoming very very negative at times and then of course how can you expect a positive result from your negative reasoning completely so friends these two aspects if you start considering and if you are the foremost one the former one if you adopt is certainly making you and leading you to a growth path friends it is a well said phenomenon which which really led to the change aspects that today we have had so many social organization today we have uttarakhand disaster i am sure rotary also is working towards that to do that job they we lost 20 strong army man now if you see my friends 20 of those army people each of them had the capacity of saving at least 200 lives so can you imagine how many lives lost in that calculation if each person could have saved 200 imagine 20 by 4000 lives 4000 lives capable those people were capable of saving and we lost those jawans what a sad destiny and it's 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 at time saddening to see that in the night we have certain channels discussing debating and being cynical about the entire issue forget about giving gratitude to those jawans forget about really paying their respect to those <coughs> jawans who have lost their lives or their families but we are trying and discussing whether it was political whether it was not political whether it should have been that they should have flown there whether there was a technical error forget about that what 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 do we demand when you are talking about change when you are talking about seeing the change around you at the end of the day what are you trying to say by just kind of discussing certain issues actions speak louder than the words as beautifully said and i'm sure all of you here are action oriented friends here we are all congregating gathering with the whole one objective i'm quite sure that's the objective and that objective is contributing in others life that is a generic motto of any rotarian correct me if i'm wrong and if that is a motto of yours that if you have congregated to contribute in each and every person's life whether it's a family member it's a society it's your country or globally then what do we need to display in terms of our mission our mission only needs to be one that be the change agent that's rightly put and as we have already discussed what is the role of a change agent how can you become a change agent friends in life you should work to express not to impress in life my friends you should always strive for a cause not for a loss friends you should always have a life which is, which should be fulfilling which should be goal oriented which should be growth oriented and then see the change what you desire to see with that my friends i'm sure you all will be a change agent in your own